How does an idea get from my brain onto the paper? And the older I get, the more I wonder about that myself. What good is it to have all of these things if you can't share them with people? The great thing about having my friends with me when I work is that they're quiet. What I love about raw art is that you can see the imperfection. Half the fun of doing what I do is being spontaneous. Usually my ideas begin in journals, and I call them character Bibles. And, you know, after a year of collaging and ripping and tearing from magazines and newspapers and cards, I am so ready to illustrate and write a book that my head is overflowing with ideas, and it's better than just facing the blank page. It's inspiration. Dewey began that way too. It's about a raccoon who was born in the pocket of an old pair of pants. And when he got too big for his britches, it was time to find his own pair of pants. Dewey had never met a button he didn't like. But when his collection began to weigh down the family pants, Dewey knew it was time to move on. But finding a home was much harder than he ever imagined. Because Dewey collected far more than just buttons. He collected experiences, too and it would take him He wasn't exactly sad about leaving because Dewey had mastered every raccoon rule there was in the book, especially the one about washing stuff. When I create these characters, I am not really pretending and I am not acting. I am them. All right, I want to go to bed now. <laughs> <laughs>